Hi guys, welcome to another Super Imagination Twins video. We're going to open another book and also we got new toys from our birthday party tonight. It has a squishy on it and I, got, I don't want to open it. I'm going to show. I'm going to the front. I got hair. Wait. So there's we'll do yours a clam, a starfish, should and I cover that? Squishy. Yep. There's a squishy, this dolphin squishy, and then this one. And this is for holding it. Okay, you can put it around your hand. And there's also a stand for it. And, to pull and, pull and I don't it. really want to open it because all the pieces might go everywhere. And also, it might be hard to close it. Maybe we could do a different video of you playing with it. Yeah. And different video of me. And now it's oh, time I to know. show. Dad, when you figure out how to time lap, you can show. You can time lap me building my Lego set. Okay. It's Harry Potter. And this is Fluffy. The, you know the giant drip pit bull. And that is the twenty and or the twenty years. Um, uh, Hermione. Uh, Granger, I think. And then Harry, I put Harry Potter up here, and then Liv got this set. Screws it through the forest, and then behind the tree comes a pit bull. With one sleeping, one half sleeping, and one fully awake. And then there's a golden wizard. Yellow wizard. Yellow wizard, Harry. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay, let's open this book. Oh, and like and subscribe to see me do a dissect a frog. Because that's also another thing I got. Oh, and uh, we almost forgot. Let's show Binky. It's our birthday party. It says, let's party. P.S. I got glasses too. Oh, yeah. And he's wearing dirty looking glasses. And kind of like plastic pants, it looks like. Let's <laughs> see, it looks like he can just put here's, it. Here's how to open up a birthday present, no, Christmas present, a, anything. Put your hand on it. Scroll down, find the tear. Rip that tear open. Open it. Oh, this see is the title of know. whatever it is, the Christmas story. Then you go, then you do that. And you do that, and then you uh, Okay, let's just... So, as you see, again, this is one of our mom's old Sorry, toys. I'm hungry. And it says, The Christmas Story. And as you said, as mom said, she wrote all over these books. Can I, can I get a drink? And now we're doing the All right. The Christmas story. Oh, this one was Aunt Karen's. Her name is in it. Uh, told by Jane Werner. Pictures by El Eloise Wilkins. Oh, and she rated it A minus. Oh. Okay. This is Mary, a girl of Galilee. She lived long years ago, but such a wonderful thing happened to her that we remember her and love her still. One day an angel appeared to Mary. You are blessed among women, the angel said, for you shall have a son whom you shall name Jesus. He shall be called the Son of God and his kingdom shall never end. I am glad to serve the Lord, said Mary. May it be as you have said. Then the angel left her. Mary married a good man from Nazareth. His name was Joseph, and he was a carpenter by trade. When Joseph had to go from Nazareth up to Bethlehem in Judea to pay his taxes in his father's town, Mary went with him. It was a long weary journey. 
When they reached Bethlehem at last, they found many travelers there before them. The streets were full of cheerful, jostling kinsmen. The inns were crowded to the doors. Though Joseph asked shelter only for his wife, every innkeeper turned them away. At last, one innkeeper, seeing Mary's weariness and need, showed them to a stable full of warm, sweet hay. There Mary brought forth her son, and she wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in the manger, since there was no room for them in the inn. There were in that same country shepherds in the field, keeping watch over their flocks by night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them in shining glory, and they were all afraid. But the angel said to them, There is nothing to fear. I come to bring you news of great joy, which shall come to all people. For a child is born this day in Bethlehem, a Savior who is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign to you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. Suddenly the sky was full of angels praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will towards men. When the angels disappeared into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go to Bethlehem and see this thing which the Lord has made known to us. They hurried to the town and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in the manger. Afterwards, the shepherds told everyone they met about the child. Now when Jesus was still a baby, three wise men from the east came to Jerusalem. Where is he that is born king of the Jews, they asked, for we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. When Herod the king heard this, he was troubled in his wicked heart. He called the wise men to him and asked them when the star had appeared. Then he sent them off to Bethlehem saying, go and search for the young child. And when you have found him, bring word back to me that I may come and worship him also. Uh, I'll trust that cousin. Cause in the movie, um, I think it's called Bo. Um, he, he tells them to not hurt him, but he sends someone to hurt him. I think the movie's actually called The Star. I think you're right. I think we should watch that. Maybe we will. All right. When they heard the king, the wise men departed. Behold, the star which they had seen in the east went before them, till it stood over the place where the child lay. When they saw the star, the wise men rejoiced and were glad. And when they came into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother and bowed down and worshiped him. They opened their treasures and laid before him gifts of gold and frankincense and myrrh. Being warned by God that they should not return to Herod, they departed for their own country another way. The child was called Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was born. And the child grew and became strong in spirit and full of wisdom. And the grace of God was upon him. Well, what do we think of the Christmas story? I would say because it doesn't really tell the direct one I listened to today, actually. Um, I would say three and a half. Okay. I'd say three and a half. Three and a half it is. It doesn't really tell the whole part about the wise men, does it? Here, here I'm going to make, okay, the half and the half makes one, and three plus three equals six, so it's seven and seven. Ten. Yeah, seven. Alrighty.
bye and we'll see you tomorrow in another video. Hey guys, do you like do you like cannons? Oh yeah, children. When you use chips, when you get Lay's, Oops. sorry Ross, you get Lay's chips. You get Lay's stacks chips in this container. And if you empty it down enough or like fully empty it. <laughs> you might want well, to turn it off before your mom gets mad at you. Another video. Oh, that's mine, Ross.